Hootie hoo, everyone. You think if I rearranged everything on the desk, people would notice? Like, who do you think would actually notice first? Like, who would who, who would point it out to the chat, or who would uh, oh, actually f- you know, notice? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, hmm. I feel like Paul's not going to... Well, Paul doesn't, that doesn't Paul sit down here very, here very often. often. Yeah. He's not going to He's not gonna notice. Who's the, so the first person to come in here during the week is going to be, I want to say... It's going to be Corey and... and, and uh, yeah, it's going to be Corey and Cameron. Mm-hmm. Um, they will definitely notice that stuff is in a different place. Yes. Do you... I think Corey would probably point it out to the chat before oh, Cameron. Corey would. is willing to throw me under a bus at the moment's notice. So, yeah, absolutely, right? she would okay. do that. So, Corey definitely do it. Uh, I feel like if we moved stuff around the office, or just this space, mm-hmm. um, Ben and Adam would immediately just, I don't know, go into a, a, a dance-off fit or something mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe rap about it. Ben definitely would rap about yeah, it. Yeah, no, he. He's... Uh, I think Adam would just kind of maybe do a dance behind him or on the chair, just, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is all. This is all going to depend on the timing of when I do it. Yeah. I don't really like to stay very long after streams, so. I. I it's not I, Sunday night. You know, honestly, given the way he reacted to uh, to to my 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 small adjustment to the keyboard in the past, I would suggest doing it directly before the next watch and play. For uh, for Graham and uh, Alex. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a good combo. I think yeah, that's a good combo to mess with. Yeah, I do have a few ideas of things to change that are less obvious, Mm -hmm. but I'm I'm kind of thinking of waiting until like the summer. Mm -hmm. Just I I don't feel like spring's a great time for that kind of thing. No, no, people are. It's just too in fashion. People are building their nests. People are, you know, laying eggs. It's taking a a lot of a lot of their energy and a lot of their time, and they're a little cranky at the moment. And summer's when it's really hot, and Mm -hmm. so I feel like you also get this onset of people just don't know if it's them or not. Oh yeah, no, yeah, they they probably wouldn't notice in the summer because people are just too interested in being in here for the air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just too much. I suggest uh, the easiest thing to do is just change the windows hmm. on the on the two monitors. I like in Vitar's uh, idea of setting the clocks back fifteen minutes. Did you know I actually used to do that to the microwave when we were in the old moon base? Oh, cool! I had it set five minutes. Uh, well, not set back. I had it set five minutes fast, mm-hmm. so that when people would see the clock, they would actually get in here ah, on the streams on time. Very nice. Um, as opposed to what they would do normally, which was like, hey, it's like 2 o'clock. We better get in there. Yeah, get, get, time to get set up to start streaming. Yeah. Here usually I haven't f- done that here because, you know, the microwave is so much further away from this space now. It <laughs> Thank doesn't, doesn't Christ, really that's the case. <laughs> First, having the kitchen and the dishwasher directly outside of the streaming office. <laughs> Bang your idea, people! Uh, no, I, I suggest you do that. Uh, do it with the, the microwave, but also like very, you know, kick it up a bit. Some day, change it every day. Some days forward, some days even more forward, some days back. Have it come back and forth. People need to be able to not trust their surroundings anymore. <laughs> I don't know that, that the moon base is a place where people do trust their surroundings. <laughs> it's, 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 it's to it's, begin with. It's I, I I I haven't read the book, but I assume it's like somewhat like the House of Leaves. I mean, maybe Matt. He's he's like kind of newer. He wasn't really around for like Mark Three, mm. the place of like beware of where you step. Oh, the clubhouse. Spiders everywhere. Yep. You know, so uh, we could probably trick him mm-hmm. into not being safe in his surroundings. Is it, and then we, 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 we return full circle to the question of, is it safe? And the answer is always no. Not here. No. Never safe here. No. It's especially... I, I hit all the markers uh, in, in my office because that was a safety concern. I, I, I feel like if there was caution tape, I should hide that too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that would definitely get misused. That's, yeah, it's going to get misused. Uh, I hide the good scissors. There's one set of good scissors in the office. I know where they are. <laughs> and when people please me, 
I let them have it mm, mm, mm. to use for their crafting and stuff. I, I like to keep my my, own, my my good materials on lock. Oh no no locks. If you have a lot, a very obvious lock, then people want to break that. Mm -hmm. I have hidden compartments. See, I'm not going to break your lock, sir. I, 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 I subscribe to the, 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 the lock picker's code of never pick a lock you don't own and one that you rely on. Uh, but I do have that lock on that Tinker Tailor uh, canister. Canister? Cabinet. That's it. A, cab a, ca a cabinet <laughs> do you, is just Do a you have a canister for Tinker Tailor? I really should have a canister. Uh, if anyone wants to set me like one of those little things that you use to hold dry ice for li liquid nitrogen, I think that would be really good. I'm going to wrap some caution tape around that yeah. for sure. But that's that's where I keep all my good blades. And that's, uh, I think, the, the smartest method for me. The bolt cutters are in there too, by the way, if you need them. If you ever need to cut a bolt. I mean, there's some uh, there's some things outside I wouldn't mind cutting with some bolt cutters. I mean, hey, maybe we could make that into like a pre-record. <laughs> this is Rhythm Cafe, a show on <laughs> Ready Run Video Entertainment <laughs> Network. My name's Ian. I'm Heather. And it is also a house of lies, but no lies detected when we tell you that today we will be playing Rit Trip Rerunner once again. You think we could get a lie detector overlay? So... Yes. Uh, you know what? Absolutely yes. We could uh, definitely... That we control? We, we make it tell when the lies are happening? Oh, that's... Okay, yeah. Not that... something that tells us if we're lying, because we already know if we're lying. Yeah, see, that, that, that's a little e easier to do than, uh, than I was thinking. We could just have like the little squiggly lines coming up the side here, almost like a rhythm game, just giving us Ooh. information as we go along. What I'd really love to do is actually uh, hook us up to a... Uh, a not necessarily a full lie detector. Uh, I can't remember the, what the uh, the real name for them is because there's a bunch of different hookups that you need to, to do. But yeah, hook us up to like a little bit of heart rate, a little bit of sk galvanic skin response, a little bit of brain waves. Ooh. Heart rate monitor would actually be pretty good during some of the rhythm games because they get really intense. Mm -hmm. There's definitely like some spiking going on. Polygraph, Dresden. Thank you. Poly, because it's it's graphing uh, people who are in a polycule to find out if they're... No, because it's a... Uh, it's <laughs> measures multiple different things uh why did i use that to describe i things? don't know why you do most of your hand gestures <laughs> i just keep staying on topic if i can oh it's it's it's, it's for visual flair just... you are very good at that thank you it's because i have no visual hair um that's <laughs> <laughs> is that how that works? Don't have hair, need to have flair? That's, I believe, the, uh, the, the that is the slogan that is required at certain restaurants. No exposed hair, plenty of flair. Mm. Welcome to Quiznos. I haven't been to a Quiznos in so long. I haven't either. Apparently they're all go they're, they're an endangered species. Oh, I don't feel bad about that. No, I I, I think the whole sub, uh, sub the, the sub, whole sub sub genre. genre. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is, is in a bit of a dire strait right now. See, the problem is I know how to make my own subs. No, exactly, yes. The minute, yeah. the minute you know how to make your own version of something and you can replicate it, it's uh, you get, just got to do it at home. Yeah, and I, I don't know about you, but the last thing I want to replicate in my house is the smell of Subway. Yeah, no, that is uh, something. It's just not, it's not what I want. No. Do, do you think that, like, American... Specifically, the company American Candle Makers, whatever the name of them is, <laughs> makes a subway scented uh, uh, candle. I don't want them to. No. But I kind of want them to. Yeah. I want to know it exists. I don't want it. Yeah, you, you don't want it. Okay. In... Yeah. Chat, you are you are you, we have the consent to send us pictures of subway scented candles. Please do not actually send subway scented candles. And no scratch and sniff pictures either. We'll know. We'll know. <laughs> I meant something safer, like through the internet. Oh, okay. It's not asking. like an actual mailed in photo, but I, you know what? If you do yes. A for effort. Oh yes, and, all, um, and if you do, absolutely mark it for mail, care of mail time. Yeah, that should be our new thing. Yeah, definitely send uh, pictures of Subway scented candles to mail time. Mm -hmm. Or Subway subs, too. If, you, if you've got a particularly nice sandwich and you want to send a postcard to Beach, I think that he would really appreciate that. <laughs> rhythm games. Ah, <sighs> yep, yeah. This rhythm. has been a bit of a trip, but now <laughs> we're going to rerun this. Yeah, for the third time, it was, uh, it was prophesized and... We're allowing it to happen. I'm going to turn the music on now. It may be loud. 
How but is that? Is that okay? I just wanted to give like a second of a warning so you could like fling oh, yeah. off your headphones. Yeah, people, th th that's that's good to know because that came in hot. It always comes in much faster than you expect. Mm -hmm. I oh, would love to have the control over the, uh, the the curve that these things go back up on when you push the mute button off. Mm. Let's have it like slowly rise up. Oh yeah, I'm not sure you can set the thing to do that. At least that's not a setting I've seen. No, no. But if it was a company that still existed, it would probably be something that we could add or request. Oh, that's true. They don't, they don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. Gong, gong, gong score. So we did play this a few weeks ago. Yeah. We started it. And we forgot. Well, we didn't forget about the game. We, we, we just had a lot of stuff going on. What we've forgotten is what the buttons might be. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Do you remember where we were? I mean, I would assume we were. Yeah, we were in zone three, that's we, for we sure. We were starting zone three, right? Oh. We were most of the way through. We were part way through. Skilled. There's exclamation marks on here. Ooh. We must have done very well. Yeah, does that mean we did well, or does that mean we, we didn't do well enough? I feel like if you don't do well enough in a rhythm game, what they actually give you is question mark. Yeah. Like, is it like... I'm, I'm just Maybe think, an man. I'm thinking it's like a report card. And, you know, you show your report card to the parents and your parents are surprised. Which is worse, that they're surprised about how badly you've done or that they're surprised about how well you've done? The letter grade report card or the one you get when you're in, like, grade one that just says, like, needs improvement? Oh, no, letter grade. Yeah, letter grade. grade. One is, um, okay. I'm happy that you came home with clean pants in grade one. I didn't have an S-ranking uh, letter grade in school, but we did have an H that was the highest ranking you could get. H. Yeah, it stood for honors. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. It was separate from A. Yeah, that, I mean that's. It I was higher than A. I prefer that to like an A plus or an A plus plus type thing. They still did the A plus thing. Oh god. Well, I think okay. the plus denoted like five within the five percent above range or something. Dumb. Her cards are kind of. They're set up strangely. Yeah. Do you remember the rhythm game we played where, like, at the end of each uh, level, it would give us something like, oh, here's Neptune's Trident, and here's, like, other stuff. And I was like, I don't know what any of this means. I feel like that's how some of my report cards went. Mm hmm Plays well with others. Does badly with the Trident. I did read, uh, I did read through some of my earlier report cards. Like, my mom had kept them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I read through some of them from the early grades, and it was really funny to me to watch me go from, like, Essentially, oh, pays attention class does really good to chaos goblin. <laughs> I didn't use the words chaos goblin, but they they might as well have. Yeah, wow. Well, I, I I I wish that we had more of that ability in in our school system. Flexibility around goblin status. <laughs> I was reading I was reading a book the other night, and it referred to it uh it, it brought up a kappa, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and it it in in brackets decided to describe that as if you didn't know what that was because maybe you're not you're not Japanese. Oh, maybe, well, maybe you grew up you know watching twitch and think it's some guy's face yeah uh it described it as a japanese water goblin <laughs> <laughs> and uh i'm pretty for that too yeah no more more use of the word goblin in general i think is a good idea and while we're still on the topic i think report cards should only like no letter grades no uh no no, no percentages Everything should be rated on the D&D &D alignment scale. Ooh, yes. Right? Yes. Yes. I'm going to push the button. <laughs> Good idea. I'm going to try and remember what all these buttons do. Well, you've got, you need skill, so. Okay, I found the jump button and the down button. Shield. Right, there's a couple different kinds of shield. That's the absorb. Right, those are okay. And then do these do anything? They're right, kick button. Okay, I think I know everything now. Okay, good.
Häkchen. You know the best thing about this game so far? What's that? It's so easy to understand what's going on. Go forward. Ooh. Well, I mean, when you don't have to focus on the running portion. <laughs> like a, uh, if possible, a good plan. I think it's going to be the better plan. Can't be in the hole if you don't go in the hole. <laughs> Forgot what button that was for. I think that's someone returning the black. Uh, Ooh, his head that made one. Yeah. His face made a red. Yeah, that was uh that was a different button. I think that was for laser eyes. But no, th thinking about the idea of uh, What do you call it? Confined spaces. Don't go in the confined space. That's and holes are confined spaces. want to. I mean, I prefer my confined spaces to mostly be made up of blankets and larger rooms. Oh yeah, no, there's plenty of ventilation in there. That's, that's good. That's a good confined space. There's not, if there's going to be any, uh, hydrogen sulfide in the air released, it's going to be based on your own excretions. So you don't have to worry about, uh, well, you I mean, you still do have to worry about, I guess, suffocating yourself. But. I guess, yeah, you think about this a lot because you've got like aerosol containers and things, spray mm -hmm. paints and such. Well, I also had to do a a, a, a bit of uh, H2S safety as well. Back in my past day, I worked at a, a chemical plant for a while. First job, in fact. Dow Chemical. Ian was bored in a chemical plant. That's <laughs> where he was raised. That's where he got his first job. That's where he met his first love. They were chemicals. I mean, I, I did have my first experience with Unix there, yes. <laughs> with an X, not with a, uh, uh, shoot, how do you spell Unix? C-H. All right, those, the orange cubes are for jumping. That's for lasering. Ooh. Meat Boy reference. That's yeah. cool. Nope, wrong one. I wonder if he's is, if uh, he's just something you're supposed to look at, or if he's available for collection or some form of interaction. <laughs> hey, there you go. into the side. Difficult. Oh, no! shoot. I was like, I was getting all into the absorption part and I was like, ha, I've solved everything and yeah. the game told me I was wrong.
Yay! Full, <laughs> Full scarf. That will explain it, yeah. Yeah, not hitting the kick button. I was like, my timing doesn't seem that far off. But now I understand. This this was my fault. <laughs> what this also begs the question of is Do car chases happen in this world? Okay. Uh that's the absorbing one. Okay. That's the laser eyes. Okay. Kick button. Kick. Uh up up for when you hit the pink boards jump that's most of what i remember okay i hope i can figure You'll, this out you will probably still need to get all that muscle memory back into your brain but oh yeah you know okay down absorb shield got it jump over the orange one gotta jump over the orange ones yeah Go under the pink ones, jump over the orange ones. It's, um, yeah. That's still too hot. Ah, I'm gonna have to leave that open for like an hour. Oh no. See, that means you don't get the second, the, the second beverage during the stream. Ah! So I released it just before. <laughs> okay, don't go in there, I think is the answer. But that may not you can't be. can't kick the goop. I mean, you can, it just it doesn't work out for you. That is a valid strategy. Okay, need to. Oh! Yeah, I've noticed on the PS5 controller, the start button's a little bit close to your uh, button layout. Ah, up for those ones, right? Uh, for the pink platform, yeah. Yeah, got it. Sword. Yep. <laughs> Didn't hit the button fast enough. <laughs> Jumped over the spring. Ah. Hmm, maybe I can't absorb while I'm. Yeah, can't absorb while you're down. the whole point is to try to absorb them while you're running a top. I guess so. Oh. Probably a points thing. Jump over the orange ones. Don't die. Nice. There we go. Gotta get into the mouse noises. 
how you know the understanding is, is building. Jump, 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 maybe. Yeah, could be. Nope. Need to triple jump. I was also very bad at triple jump. In high school? Uh, well, maybe that was the was last that, time I did a triple jump. Was that a oh, no, track, and, track field and field thing? thing? Yeah, and so that would have been junior high because I, yes, did not participate in. Uh, you know, that's a good point. I got out of gym as fast as I could. Yep. So. Physical activity? Not for me. See, and I wasn't against the physical activity. I was against all the types of physical activity they wanted me to ah. do. Because there's a bunch of it I don't like. If they wanted to just be like, okay, go into this room and run on a treadmill, maybe do some swimming or whatever uh, for this period of time a day, I would have gone and done it. But I don't want to want to run outside around a track in the sun. I definitely don't want to jump hurdles. Okay. You can't make me do a long jump. So... You know, and I definitely don't want to do square dancing. I mean, that's I, that's actually pretty good just for racist reasons. Come on. Yeah, look up the history of square dancing, kids, if you're uh... not. Ooh, you're doing great. Feeling good about it. Yeah, if the purpose of, like, physical education class is to help you build lifelong habits and enjoy physical activity, boy, that sure failed. Yeah. All it fostered me was a healthy distrust for authority. <laughs> Again, I'm not, I'm not against the whole, like, we think you should be out there doing some physical activity and, and whatnot. I'm just like, yeah, but you've shown me what all the physical activities are, and I don't like half of well, what you're going to make me they, do. They don't even they, they don't even give you the good physical activities. Like, say, just walking. I sure would have enjoyed uh, oh, cross country. I would have liked that a lot better. Yeah. I would have enjoyed cross country running a lot more if it was a cross country walk for a couple kilometers rather than, yeah, you know, go out there and, and run until your your lungs feel like they're bleeding. <laughs> I can go down! Hurrah! Nope. Shaking. <laughs> yeah, hiking would have been great. Yeah. In fact, if they had had a separate hiking class, I, I would have just taken that one. Slowly making progress. Okay. Commander video in one of those stick that sticker right there is absolutely doing the sonic pose. To the finish makes me very upset. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, what was it? There's like one day of the year where they made us all do uh, uh, the marathon run. Mm. Did they make you do that? They made I, us... hate, I hated that day. They Most of us... us just walked it. Oh, yeah, was, we, we called ours the turkey trot because it was just before Thanksgiving and the winning kid would get a turkey. Okay. Yep, I hated that. Yeah, no.
wrong way. It's oh, doing so good. Oh, right, physical fitness oh, test. Yes, oh, yes, those. Garbage. Whew, that was got eliminated pretty quickly uh, in my career. <laughs> But we never needed to go through the presidential fitness medal tests. No, those I don't know about. Yeah, that was a, a similar idea, but American and was somehow related to the president. Did the president come to your school and have to do it with you? Because <laughs> I think he should have had to. Absolutely. He oh, should have gone man. to every school. Oh, man, we would have gotten rid of Reagan so much faster if he just had a heart attack trying to do a push-up. Well... Down I go, Nancy. Which is ironic, given her uh, rumored history. Mostly, I think the thing I hated the most about physical tests was at my school, you just showed up to class one day and they're like, we're doing that today. And if you'd had it before, you were like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. What? Why? <laughs> and then if you had it and you were like, oh, okay, what's a gym test it supposed to be won't. like? And then you find out you're just mad for different reasons. Wait, I can fail at this? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I used art class to skip out of gym class in grade six. I just, I, I just wanted nothing more than to focus on band in those situations. My, uh, my art class teacher would, would literally let, write me an excuse to not go to gym class. Aww. As long as I was in the art room doing art things. That's fantastic. That's a good teacher. Got me out of hurdles. Oh. I don't like hurdles. They're so much higher than than I think I ever have been in my life. Both in height and drug wise, if you want to make that. I mean, I, I already was. <laughs> that information's for the chat. I know you already know. <laughs> Redstone Gamer One, hey, thanks for the raid. Welcome to the hey, channel. Thank you. I hope you're having a great gaming kind of day. Uh, laser beams are the circle. Thank you. <laughs> I kept pushing up on them for some reason. Oh, oh so much good. I'm not gonna drink this. <laughs> I, it's a trap. I'm gonna take the lid off and hope it helps cool it down more. I should have made this thing like... Honestly, I probably should have just made cold green tea instead of the hot green tea. Poured it in a separate container until it was not hot. <laughs> just lukewarm tea. Room temperature tea. I mean... The way I was going there, I was absolutely going to hit that corner with my shin. Mm. And yes, I would explode if that went as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, my high school was actually uh, right next door to a rec center. So oh, we had like an entire uh, unit where we just went to the rec center gym. Oh, that and must so be you nice. could yeah, you could you could literally get on a treadmill or you could try a bunch of the different machines and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um with supervision on some of them, clearly, because yeah. you should, should, are... some of those should not just be things you try out without <laughs> proper instruction. But yeah, that that unit I actually kind of liked because it was like, oh, what 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 a thing for me to actually learn about that well, you, you, doesn't require me to do it on my own and get weirded out by you get randoms. To play, you get to play with the uh, equipment. Yeah. Is also why we had a swim unit, although I ditched that one too. Mm. I did uh, swimming as a potential career move. <laughs> oh? Well, it, to, specifically to get my uh, uh, lifeguard certification. Oh, okay, okay. And never ended up using it for anything. How, um, how long is a lifeguard certificate good for? I. Th I mean, I assume it's expired by now, but. Yeah, I think the, the certification is five years, but the, uh, the you don't need to take the course again. You can just re-up. I would have been much happier if we'd had, like, a tennis uh, mat. Or we had tennis courts in our high school. Mm, nice. they, ne they never taught us tennis. Oh, weird. I would I would definitely thought you would have had a bit of a tennis unit going. Right. <laughs> I, I, I like the idea of racket sports. I need to go under those. We, we definitely had some tennis courts at uh, a nearby park that me and my friend tried to use. We were very bad at tennis. <laughs> It's it's a lot harder than you think it is. Those courts are big. Mm -hmm. I think we managed to volley once, and we were very proud about that. <laughs> you should be. Yeah, <laughs> most of it was just hit the ball. The other person goes against the ball. Yep. Good reflexes. You corrected on that first one. <laughs> I saw it. Corrected, but uh, didn't work out. But yeah, fitness for me now is just taking nice walks every now and again. It's it's a pretty good one to do here. Oh yeah, and it's especially easy to get the heart rate up when I have to go uphill to go anywhere from my home. <laughs> oh, for my life. Yeah, I like this. This time of year is pretty good because it's still, it doesn't, it's not too hot out yet. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of walk any time of day, and uh, you know all the flowers are kind of like hitting up. Oh right, yeah. No, this is right. the time of year when you got the uh, oh, all the tree flowers. Mm -hmm. So you got the sakura, you've got the ume, you've got the uh, the magnolias. Love the magnolias. Can't make that jump. Yeah, there's a there's a point in the summer where walking is gross because it's too hot and yep. you can get sweaty. Gotta jump a little. So then your walk time either has to be like really early or really late <laughs> to not get that like noonday sun. Oh, depending on what time of day it is, I will definitely be walking on different sides of the street to oh, yeah. stay in shade. Oh, there's like a, there's a huge chunk of construction that I think they're finally done on one of the areas that I like to walk through, um, which is great because that was always the side of the street when walking to, I think, uh, the last moon base was uh, in the morning was where all the shade was. <laughs> So, glad that that's clearing up. 
I'm sure they'll just move that construction area to a different place so along my route. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried about some of the construction that's coming up. It's going to be near my house, and I'm not going to be happy with that. Speaking of stuff I'm not going to be happy with, uh, although it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, shoot. <laughs> my house is going to get uh, 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 drone scanned next drone week. Drone scanned? Yes. What does uh, that mean? Well, so... Uh, I mean, like, I guess, what does that result in? What, what does the scanning do? Well, the idea is uh, we, need, we need to have some work done on our balconies because the building is nearly 50 years old and, uh, you know, needs some renovations. Okay. So rather than uh, trying to schedule uh, unit access to all the units in our building and making sure like, someone's around to uh, open the doors for you, shoot. Uh-huh. They're going to send a drone around uh, to all of the balconies in the building and uh, film them. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And they're giving us advance notice so that uh, they can, uh, so that we can keep our blinds closed if we want to remove things from our balconies. But yeah, it's kind of that one of those weird, uh, shitty future things. <laughs> Especially since uh, there are some people out there who have been having some unfun time with insurance companies due to drone scans on their houses. Uh -huh. At least those ones are not uh, not as consensual. the idea of, of, of you not having to like coordinate with I'm assuming a few different people to go and enter a bunch of different mm -hmm. places to go check out the balcony yeah, like... also that just means that you only have to like tidy up your balcony if you're exactly <laughs> it's not not the pathway to it or if you're like me uh, not not have to uh, take things off my balcony before Mm. Or a second time, rather. <laughs> had to clean up my parking spot because they had to do work there as well. So instead of uh, putting things... Damn it! Oh, I can do yeah, that! Yeah, you can slide down. That is an optional route. I like sliding. It is pretty fun. <laughs> Maybe not as good as... I thought it could be. So it's probably nice enough that we should probably clean our belt mm. It's a I... little bit of build up of moss. Oh, I've been meaning to uh, clean my windows on my balconies for the mm. past few weeks. And maybe let's do that tomorrow. Get it done before it gets too hot out. Yeah. We don't really use our balcony, but it's very small. But we should, we should probably take care of it anyway. Yeah, it is attached to the rest of the building. See, the problem with moss is that while it is destructive, it looks really nice. Right? Yeah. Need some safe moss. Frankenstein! That is not a dig on you, uh, chat member. <laughs> uh, it's just... <laughs> it's a good thing to say when you're frustrated. Well, get you yet, Frankens... <laughs> Fuck. Was, uh, that was the video they made after The Bride of Frankenstein. So 
Oh, fuck! Oh, you're the right, you're the right. Yep. I just jumped up into it. It's back. It's back. Shit. Under, under. They should have a down arrow on them. <laughs> no. That's probably a checkpoint. You're very, you're very close to a checkpoint. You have to be. <sighs> yeah, I was checking the time too. Oh no, I got a buzz. I asked a asked a question on Mastodon. Oh, I'm sorry. Going to get this. Making the little walkie movements with my legs like it's gonna help. <laughs> you don't even control the walking of this character. Thank goodness! Oh, that would be rough. I would not. Mm. Bit trip quopper. Numbers the number of times I've died, right? Yep. Okay, good, good. We decided to leave that counter on. We can turn it off. Oh no, no, no. I wonder if we I know I wonder how many digits it goes up to. We may have we might find out. get hit with it's just like this explosion um which they've done a really good job with right because it's got like the sudden mm -hmm. stop of the explosion and and then the spirit just the travels back to the song just stops immediately and yeah really feel it Checkpoint. So, you either got to go down or use the shield for that. Do you remember which one the shield is? Okay, good. <sighs> I 
Is Ian deflating? The last time I saw Ian truly deflate was when he accidentally restarted that level in Cool Cool Tune. <laughs> you should watch that bot. It's real good. Oh, it was such a good game, too. Right? Did you know they uh, finally made a good uh, translation of that? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I think we've we've extracted everything out of it we need to. We, we read the translations aside it, but yeah, now you can play it in English if you... Oh, well, I mean, that's good because there were definitely parts of that game we ended up having to look up because of... Yes. The, <laughs> the uh, quiz portion specifically. Yeah. It, it was not helpful in the fact that we couldn't read it and it was timed. <laughs> Two more tries. <laughs> sure if you can go down fast enough or not. I think you're right. It's, it's the problem with that one. Nice. It's, it's my reaction to also try to dodge under them instead of using the shield, but... No longer nice. Down, 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 down. One more try, and then we're going to take a break. Fair. Okay. You're going to need to pause it. Yep. Folks, this is a this is a good time for us to take a short break because I I need to go. He needs to like probably stretch out his hands. Yeah, a little bit at least. So yeah. Uh, oh uh, my goodness! I didn't realize the mouse pointer was the little. So, oh, it's cute. Was a little commander video. Oh. Hey, anyway, uh, sw swap and uh, swap and stretch, and we'll be back in a few. Don't go away. Hey. Uh, I don't know why I have my hand up here like this. Like I'm about to slam something down. <laughs> mm. I want to thank Nelson for the Nelly raid. Mm. So I see, I see you. Hey, friends! Thanks for coming by. Uh, we're, we're currently in the middle of rerunner. 
Yeah. Ian has accomplished 76 deaths in this section. Yeah, if you're here for tight plays, I, I got bad news for you. I, well, on, on the other note, this this is the game that's all about tight plays. Yeah. So if you don't, yeah. you're done. Yeah. As evidenced by the big 78 next to me when I start up. That one, I we might be we might be testing whether or not we can go to three digits. I'm I'm, I'm very curious. So what do you think is going to happen? Is it going to uh, uh, just wrap around? Is the font size going to stay the same, or is it going to be uh, getting think, smaller? Hmm. I think I think the font size is just going to get smaller, so it can still fit within the same the same rectangle. Same rectangle. Because your other options are like the the rectangle rows. To accommodate, accommodate the size mm -hmm. being the same. Which it seems which like it's too big already. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do that. Um, or the number outgrows the object, mm -hmm. which is also a possibility. But my money's on the the font just smaller gets font smaller font. to fit within the object. That's the way I would do it, but I that mean, might be too I, difficult. I would have it actually start going outside of the object. If I was in charge of it. Checkpointy. I like it when there's more checkpoints. <laughs> Checkpoints! <laughs> I think the game's only gonna do that for you once. I don't think it's gonna do it again. No. Do not get up. Do not get up. Always be sliding. Ooh. That's a tough one. Can you jump while sliding? I don't know. Yes, I can. That's how it's done, folks. You gotta kick that one, yeah. though. Yeah, well, I... But, yeah. I yeah, touched okay. it with my feet. Just because you touch something with your feet doesn't make it a kick. There's rules we have to follow. So you tell that to Miet. I don't know who that is. The cat. You can kick Miet like a football? Oh, jail for Heather. Chill for a thousand years. You can't put me in jail. Oh no, I got there before getting to 100 now! All the hard work 90. lost! You got to 90. It was only 10 more bugs and now we'll never know! <laughs> that took almost an hour! <laughs> you know, you can bonk faster. You, you can, but I'm not going to. <gasps> God, I love those ones just coming out of nowhere like a, a grenade out of the heavens. Oh, good day. Give a cold drink. And no, not so much anymore. No, no, no. This is hypothetical. <laughs> oh, hypothetically, you have, okay. You have you have a cold drink. Uh, what is the material, the optimal material of your drinking container made out of? What will it taste the best out of? What are we? So there's a lot of factors in there. Um, is it important? Is the temperature of the drink the most important thing? Is this a drink that tastes bad when it gets warm? Not necessarily. I just figure there are drinks that taste better in certain materials when they're warm and 
they taste better in certain materials when they're cold. Oh, that's interesting. So I, I, I name it being a cold drink because I think glass is ultimately the better cold drink material. I mean, if you can. Glass. Glass is, yeah, in, in my mind, always the optimal material. In fact, crystal I'd even prefer with a nice sharp edge on the edge on it. It really depends on the uh, on the drink itself because there are certain beers that are better with uh, certain shapes of glass. Mm. That said, I did just buy a bunch of uh, pint glasses from a restaurant supply shop. I, I highly recommend. Uh, Russell Hendricks is the one you use here. Um, it's a personal recommendation, not a recommendation on behalf of Loading Ready Run, but do, if you're in the mood for any kitchen gadgets or glasses or plates or pans, check out your local restaurant supply shop. You'll probably find something that's going to be a much better quality uh, for what you're looking for at a lower price. Like I think the, the glasses I ended up buying were uh, safety glasses, like fully, fully tempered, pint glass style, full 20 ounce pint. And uh, I got them, I think, for roughly 50 cents a glass in the end. I did buy an extra dozen so that, you know, when I do eventually break some glasses, I can just easily replace them with the ones I, I already have. And that match, importantly. But yeah, I couldn't find anything uh, on, on Amazon or in the local Home Sensi Stuff's consumer grade glasses for less than five bucks a glass. Copper tankards and dryers. How do you feel about, about uh, copper? I mean, if I'm gonna rank stuff, I'd say for, for most of my cold drinks, I'll say for the majority of them, glass first. Mm -hmm. uh, metal of some kind after that. Now, where do you... Ceramic? I was just about to ask. Where after do you put that? porcelain ceramic? Okay. Well, for cold, I'm going to put ceramic third. I'd put it probably second for hot. Okay. I'd probably keep it pretty second for, for cold myself. As I do... I, I, you're, you, you can get some good ceramic... Uh, beer tankards. Mm. And as, as your husband well knows, you can drink anything out of them. Oh, the Mary Cat, no. Uh, I've, I've been able to, uh, they've asked me if I was a business when I come in and I say, no, I'm just here to buy some stuff that's better than what you can get at the retail places. Yeah, and most like, of the yeah. uh, uh, restaurant supply stuff don't mind if you buy stuff from them. Uh, you might have to buy stuff of a specific quantity. That's, the, yeah, usually the case. But they don't really... Otherwise, I haven't seen any of them care. Yeah. It's what we did for some of the stuff when Beach and I got married. We, we bought a few things from a restaurant so I could Last birthday gift, gift I gave to Beach was bought at that same uh, restaurant supply shop. But yeah, the glasses were a minimum of two dozen per order, but that was great. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> the crisis. Great. <laughs> Three dot skull. I wonder what kind of level this is. Who can say? Mm. Commander Video should unionize. He'd have a lot more time, a lot easier time fighting bosses that way. Mm. See, I do have this um, metal glass. Even it's not a glass, but container. Uh, that's that's walled, and when I put hot drinks in it, I can't feel heat out of the container, which is good. That's not what it's not supposed to allow the heat to get out. It's meant to keep it warm. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes I've found that when I want a hot drink, I want to be able to put my hands around essentially a ceramic 
mug so that I oh, can put all the heat yeah. into my hands and then like touch my face because I need to warm up or something. <laughs> Have you considered those those cups that are like a mitt that you shove your hand into from the side? <laughs> what? That can't be real. No, oh, yeah, no, they are very real. <laughs> and they're uh, they're big and supposedly for like things like I don't know, hot chocolate. <laughs> you say that with like such disdain. Do you not like hot chocolate? Ah, it's fair. It's fine if you don't. I'm not. There's no judgment on that. I just didn't expect the disdain in your voice. <laughs> I, I try to keep my, my, my refined sugar intakes pretty low, so uh, no, I don't generally like hot chocolate. Okay. <laughs> I especially don't like it in the Polar Express. Oh shit. ones where the handle is like a glove yeah it's like a, so it's not like a soft glove it's 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 like just kind of a, a cave in the side of your in the side of what would otherwise be a perfectly round mug side that you shove your hand into it still sounds made up to me kind of like you know the benny jesuit pain box except for hot chocolate Thank you, Julia Mon, for at least knowing what I'm talking about here. I mean, I did go look at camping mugs the other day because I am, uh, you can get ones that essentially have like, a, 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 the handle is a clip. And I do think that's pretty neat. Ooh, as okay. like a, like, like a carabiner a, clip? Yeah, like a carabiner clip attached to your bag, but it's, it's built into the handle I've itself those, yeah. so that it's not like, clanking around off of another carabiner clip. And that seems pretty interesting to me. I saw, I got like a, an ad for a Kickstarter or something that showed off this uh, thermos that you could kind of take the lid off and then add a different lid to make it uh, uh, like a straw cup, whatever thing. Okay. And I was like, okay, but the thing that really got me was the fact that they said secret pocket and it had like a screw off bottom where you could keep nuts and stuff. And I was just like, okay, I don't want to buy this, but I do like secret pocket. I'll give you that. <laughs> That's where the weed goes. <laughs> no! I advocate anything that allows you to hide extra snacks. It's just a good idea to keep some snacks in your in your bag. So what are you going to put in there, is the question. Good choice. I like, I like pistachios. I like pistachios. They got a nice salt. Mm -hmm. uh, and because it's a small area, I'm going to get like the pre-shelled ones. Oh, oh. Or okay. I'm going to pre-shell my own. Well, I mean, one, you're... One, one or the other. I mean, when when you carry a snack around with you, you want it to be prepared. You're, you're not a bird. You don't need a pistachio as an enrichment activity in addition to it being a snack. No, I don't need any of my snacks to be enrichment <laughs> activities. <laughs> My first thought was that would be a great place to put uh... matches. Yes. No. Uh. Well, yes, that too. Shit! How did I do that? You need a checkpoint. Awesome. Uh, yogurt-covered raisins. 
Oh. And then I was, and then my thought was, oh no, like if I put hot liquid yeah. in there, they'll melt. And then I realized, no, then I'll just have a single fine, puck of, of of yogurt raisin. It'd probably be fine though if it's if it's a walled-in container. Mm -hmm. So that's just, that depends on the pocket then. Jesus. <laughs> you cut the laser eyes a little tight. Yeah, I did. But I, they worked. You know, it's been a while since I've been to Bulkburn. Should definitely go there again. Mm. I love how excited our American friends get when they, they show up and find out the Bulkburn. Yep. I'm going to be uh, heading out there tomorrow, to be honest. Because I am out of peanuts. Oh no, your crow tax. Mm hmm. Well, these. The majority of this bat, this last bag, has gone to the. Uh, the couple that is currently living uh, nearby in our, our cedar tree. They'll mm. come by every day, usually once in the morning and uh, once around four o'clock. And often they'll just hang around. But they've been around long enough now. Hey, great. That we've been able to uh, determine uh, personalities for the oh, two of them. Okay, good. Which means they now have names. Damn it. <laughs> so you're currently in the process of feeding Soleta and Miorin. Soleta's big and brave and really kind of clumsy. And Miorin is just the biggest Sundare for peanuts. Yeah, I know when, when, uh, when I'm feeling like uh, getting a fancy treat, I like to get the... Uh, uh, chocolate covered cherry dried cherries mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. I mean even just dried cherries are in my opinion king of the dried fruits mm -hmm. oh, oh we're doing real good yep I'm learning I went, I went out with, uh, with Cory for coffee the other day, and we, there was a crow that was hanging out um, on one of the power lines. It found a stick. Ooh! I mean, it is nest, nest fest right now. Ah! So close to a checkpoint. <laughs> you, land, you land through that, you, you can hit a checkpoint. Yay! Uh, Fluffy Skinny Pig, I, uh, I came up with the names, but I did consult with Corey on it. <laughs> the crows do recognize her as well now, so that's important. Is not an absorb. No, you're gonna have to go from a shield into an absorb, though. It's a bit rough. Oh, they're back and forth. Could be, could be worse. Was that Meat Boy? It was. Not that one. That's a different, um, yeah, different commander jump. Uh, character. But Meat Boy was was one of our jumps. We've seen him show up in a couple. Shield into shield first. When they work on your balcony, you may want to leave the workers with some peanuts. I don't think the crows are working on your balcony, are they? No, no, they are not. <laughs> and I hope, uh, yeah, the balconies are going to be a real problem for the crows. I mean, crows are pretty smart. Maybe they can fix your balcony. Ooh. They can probably help with the demolition of it anyway. Oh, everything's getting very intense. Yep. So am I. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
worth it. gonna be more i thought yeah i thought there was gonna be more boss fighting at the end but 66 bonks yep not bad not a bad bonk get loved wait New level? This is the credits. Oh! I think. That feels right. Yep, sure is. Oops. Whoa. Did not see that. best when the lyrics are on. to do so much. Oh, oh. I forgot I could bump into those. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done this level area. Oops, don't kick it. There we go. Oh. Okay, I see... What you're saying. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be like a like a little a, pocket cake. A, a ceramic kind of thing. Mm, okay. I, I pictured I essentially pictured a metal mug that then had like like a welder's glove on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I, I can understand where you'd get that idea. Oops. Yeah, you know, like that's kind of I think I think my issue was I I you described it as a glove. And so I immediately was like, well, giant welder's glove. What I, ima what I imagined was definitely not real. <laughs> I mean, you can make it real. It's cl What you've described is not something I've ever seen. So open market is what I'm saying here. <laughs> Who's the lucky gentleman who got to make his name out of fire? Bum, 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 bum. 
Just, I pushed like three different buttons. So I was like, oh no, what do I do? Try More gameplay or not, but it's your turn. We'll find out. No, we love you, mad robot man. He does not return the feelings. Well, he can. He can do that. So we blast it off to Asgard. I guess so. Extras. Words. Letters to players. Nope. Yeah. So we could uh, we could check out the uh, maker. Mm hmm. We can definitely do that. Ah, level editing. Okay. Because I mean, the maker is the new thing. It's one of the new things of, of the rerunner. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is going to be involved. <laughs> Let's give Commander Video something to run on. Each tile is four beats of music. Interesting. Did I not do that? Using only the first tile in the palette. Great. Let's play the level. Yeah, it hit the double window button. Yeah, I'm wondering which... Nope. Nope, the other one, maybe. Yep. <laughs> Select. Great. Path objects. Uh, path objects. Controls. Select and place a gold bar. So that beat twelve. Select. Choose object. Rar. Yep. Then A for place. Ah, uh, move your cursor. That's the thing. This is why I like keyboards and mice. Can I do that with this? Yes, I can. Great. Ah, much easier. Pull 
play. Get to edit. <laughs> this concludes the basic tutorial. <laughs> Cosmetics, mm -hmm. object densities, advanced controls like multi select. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Are there community levels that we can? That's what I'm hoping. Uh, maybe if we go to my levels. Oh, right. those are so okay. Those, are those ones. Oh, um, wait, community zone. L stick. There we go. Red. Let's go with determined fool. Sure. That sounds. Why? Okay, we'll go with this one. Yes. The other one didn't seem to let me go. We so. will do this. The core wars. Right. Jumping at the same time might be. Whew. Okay, it's doable. It is a little harder. Like, I think you're supposed to be able to. Are you required to be able to finish the level yourself before you can upload it? Uh, well, that's definitely a thing in Mario Maker. I don't know if that's a thing here. Mm. I would hope so. It said oh. it was in the tutorial. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you, Bestin. Really wasn't paying attention to what the <laughs> tutorial said. Nope. Same. Which sometimes backfires when I'm trying to get through tutorials, but that one seemed fine. Oh, you're getting there, though. have to actually jump over that. I have to do a. It, I'm getting really used to doing the short hop, and and now I have to do a longer hop, uh, and yeah. it's messing with me a little bit.
and then I also have to shield there. On the plus side, we'll probably get that three number sign stamp. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what we get there. Very much a lot. Absorb there. No light, okay. I don't want to alarm anyone, but those cars seem to be smoking out of their taillights. Yep. That's mean. Yep, yeah, sure is. <laughs> Don't care for it much. <laughs> position and destroy people or, or video commanders hey, he is people It'd be better if I shield there, just so I can get the box taken care of, and then I have to remember to laser right away mm -hmm. afterwards too. Okay. Too 
early. Mm hmm. We've gotten to the talking it out stage. <laughs> but sympathy for you right now. Let me be very clear. I mean, I literally wouldn't wish this on all anyone. Nope. Sure how I'm gonna do laser beams and jumping at the same time. That's it's two buttons in one hand. There wasn't like a secondary laser beam button, there was there? No. I would use the tip of the thumb to hit the circle and then the base of the thumb to do the jumps. Slide and kick. Yeah, I have no idea how you're even making this uh, this first jump here to the black. <laughs> I need to stop hitting the jump button in the middle there. I just get like way too ahead of myself. <laughs> Do it again. All the way through this time. And clearly you've demonstrated you can do it once. That means you're every time. <laughs> Forgot what I was doing. Pick up. I, I don't play magic, but I don't think that's how Force of Will works. Uh, I'm pretty sure Force of Will is an instant, or maybe a sorcery. 
or a creature. It's not a land. It's definitely not a land. Could be artifact, actually, too. Mm. Sheer force will. I, I think that's uh, that's oh, yeah, one that... of those like uh, ice lands, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sheer force of will, I believe, is a uh, is a set of pantyhose. It comes in those eggs. Okay, one hundred. Hey! Yeah, oh. it, it makes it smaller. Okay, but it stays within. That's... It stays within. Now mm. we know the answer to that mm -hmm. question. Did I still sell the pantyhose and the eggs? Not that either of us wear all that often. And the eggs. Yeah, they used to come in like these egg-shaped packages. I, I, I get the feeling they probably transferred over to like everything on cards, but. Wait, Jillymon, were they literally called the eggs? I have done this over a hundred times. <laughs> Are you done? I am done now. Uh, Do you want to try? Absolutely not. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, I was just thinking, would you like to try a different rhythm game before I install it? Okay. Okay, let's let's just quit out of this for the second here. No, that's Twitch out. That's a uh, booth. I'm gonna make this go away. And then we'll just make this go away. <laughs> And then we'll just make this come back. I was I, just, you know, I was happy I hit a checkpoint. You did so well. And, and I, I was glad to see I could get those lasers going at that one time, but I can't seem to make them go off and jump at the same time. Uh, you're doing quite well. There are two rhythm games in this, by the way. All right. uh, the first one I was thinking we could, we could have, uh, swapped out earlier for because it's I need to get to 250 to get to get first place in the ramen rhythm game but I think we have just enough time to uh to to uh cap off this episode of rhythm cafe with uh with a little bit of 99 luft balloons all right uh you'll 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 know how to play because it's uh it's a standard rhythm game we're just gonna go to mini game okay and we're gonna do the karaoke the best karaoke in the city all for you To remember where those buttons are. Oh. Okay. I just want to point out you're getting as, exactly as much context as I did when being thrown into this. to do this. Oh, okay.
weird, terrible buzzer sound. <laughs> what the? <laughs> they're all drunk, right? Probably. But they're enjoying us more. I mean, as far as a rhythm game goes, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just surprised that they just put it in for one song. Really, what? Yep. Only one song? <laughs> That's it. Something that happens to you in the middle of the game it just shows up and yep. you're like this is what you're doing now yeah you finish a level and then uh, you you go out and do this present yeah. it without comment before or after oh well i mean with rounding nice well done <laughs> and uh yeah quit that uh, game and yes. i think let's quit that uh quit this game as well here uh, thanks so much, everyone, for watching Rhythm Cafe. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we made it through one game, and uh, I got exposed to another. Mm-hmm. So... And now I can safely un uninstall this, and we can be done with it forever. <laughs> Until, <laughs> once I get the ramen run done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks so much, for everyone, for watching. Don't forget, you can check out patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun to uh, help us out if you want to. Uh, loadingreadyrun.com for links to everything we do, except, Heather, where can people find you when you're not here? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash lunarjade or youtube.com slash lunarjade. Ian? Tiltyhouse.com or T-I-L-T-Y dot H-O-U-S-E. That's where you can find everything that I do there. Uh, so, yeah, thanks again, everyone, for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.